Well, I, I, I would like to say I told you so, Vera, although I did forget to tell you so, I suppose, so. But you definitely should have taken Donna instead. You realize this? Yes, I realize this. <sighs> we can't get this open either. I know not why, but it annoys me. Let's try this big door then. Uh oh, I smell boss battle. Oh, they're not immediately hostile, I see. Arr, Grishnak, say hold. You no come further. We speak now, not fight. Why you come here, fearless one? Arr, you kill many gnolls of tribe. Why? What you seek? How is it that you speak my language? Arr, Grishnak is chieftain of gnolls. I learn much from, so that I can lead tribe. Arr, Human tongue hard to speak for us, but I learn it well. Pfft. Volnid could learn to do so without spitting quite so much. Be silent, mongrel. The fact that I speak human tongue is not important, however. Uh, what is important is that you tell Grishnak why you are here. Also, I cannot seem to make up my mind up whether my name is Grishnak or Gishnak. It is an old thing you would not understand. Uh, I'm looking for some artifacts that were stolen from Hilltop. Uh, uh, you seek the items of power taken by the little creatures you call kobolds, yes. The mistress Jenna seeks them as well. Uh, this is why she com commanded Gishnak to send his knowledge to attack the kobolds and take them. Who is this Jenna you speak of? Uh, Jenna has great power. Uh, much magic. She come to the Noll Caves two months ago and drive out old chieftain, Nashek. He flees with many Nolls, and Jannar commands caves now. What is this Jannar? Zanos has never heard of female Nolls ruling a tribe before, power or no. Uh, she's not Noll. Uh, she spends all her time down in ruins beneath Noll Caves digging. She kills Nolls who disobey. Uh, we not want her here. He gladly try to kill her, but Jenna is too strong. Uh, her magic too strong. Uh, we need we know need help if she be killed. Are you saying you you'd help me fight her? Uh, I suggest that if you begin fight against Jenna, uh, and only then. And only if then, I, I do apologize, uh, then Tribe of Nulls could fight alongside you. I am not sure we can trust you, uh, but we do know if you want Jannar gone from caves. If she doesn't give me what I want, then yes, I will fight her. Uh, then you may pass through our cave safely, fear, fearless one. Uh, and you should strike against Jenna. We will be there to help you. I will give you the key you need to open great doors in the back of this chamber. Uh, they lead down to ancient ruins where Jenna lies. I warn you, however. Uh, from this point on, you not steal more from us. You not touch our slaves and you not attack us or there is no deal. Ah, well, you see, that's that's a problem. I demand that you release the prisoners you've taken. Ah, you demands nothing. Ah, he takes prisoners in fair raid on village. We keeps them for slaves. Is there nothing I can offer you in exchange for them? There be nothing. Uh, we keeps the prisoners, and you says nothing more about it, Furless One. 
Release them or die, fiend. Oh, my dad. <laughs> More wonderful. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to read out any of that dialogue all over again because my poor vocal cords cannot take the strain. I am so sorry. Yeah, I think we'll just skip straight to the... Uh... Yeah, this bit. Run! All right, now would be a good time to remember some of these scrolls of ours. Uh, where is Xanos gone? Seriously, there he is. I can't cast it on him, I can only cast it on myself. Bollocks. Protection from alignment. Protection from evil, definitely. Cast it on him. Not sure if that worked. Let's try. I think I got a color spray here, haven't I? Yeah. Oh yes. Let's resummon Colin. Let's drink a potion. Let's give Xanos a potion. Oh, he's down. Never mind. Let me get away, game. What are you doing? All right. Negative energy ray. What does that do? Hmm. Uh, not that good. Uh, let's just do acid arrow, I think. And probably heal ourselves before we die, I've just realized. Um, okay. I use mage armor on myself as well, I think. There we go. Scare? Worth a try. Doesn't seem to have worked. Hold your weapons. Oh, he surrenders. Ah. Okay, and uh, Xanos does not care. He is just going to fight anyway. Well. Oh, Kishnak surrenders to you, Furless One. Oh, do not slay me. I will do as you command. Oh, uh. Sorry, Gishnak. Xanos. I was talking to the Knoll. Xanos does not care. Xanos wished to kill the Knoll. It is vermin. It is stupid creature. It deserves to be destroyed. Xanos, do not ever do that again. Or the last thing you ever see shall be one of my magic missiles. Uh, Xanos. Yes, what is it? Yes, what is it talking, Cat? I think you should listen to her. I, I think she's actually quite serious. She's, I, I, she doesn't get angry very often, but I think she's quite angry right now. Uh, Zenos thanks you for this information, talking Cat. A double axe. I simply can't carry all of this. I, really? I simply can't carry all Not even this. if I put it in the magic bag? Cripes. Would have been a good one to sell. Do these weigh anything? Oh, hell yeah, they weigh stuff. That's better. Well. That did not go remotely according to plan. But we won at least. 
Honestly, I didn't realize Xanos was going to immediately run over and attack the Chieftain as well. Otherwise, I would have made him stop. But never mind. There was an amulet there. Amulet of cold resistance. Ooh, this is like my current one, but better, I think. Oh, no, it's the same. Um, all right. In that case. They both have cold resistance. <coughs> Maybe useful in case of dragon attack. I don't know, halberd. Interesting. Flesh Ripper. Stained with the blood of thousands of victims, this weapon once represented the fury of the Orc tribes of the Great Rift. The March of Leaves was an elven campaign that destroyed most of the Orc tribes, leaving them scattered and leaderless. Nothing is known of the fate of the bloody weapon Flesh Ripper. Well, it's ours now. Honestly, I think I might. Yeah. Might use it as a, uh, as a melee weapon for now. <coughs> Although, melee is not really a place that Vera ever wants to be. So I will probably end up selling it. Anyway. Uh, he probably deserved to die. But uh, even so, that was annoying. Might be able to tell something useful. Um, thank you. Ah, these are the doors that we couldn't open before. Well, on the bright side, I'm, I'm actually a little surprised we survived that encounter. It was kind of a nasty one. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm actually a little surprised this is locked. We have the Chieftain's key, after all. Oh, stop it. Wait here a minute. <sighs> Fellas, rest. Oh, there we go. <coughs> oh, God, voicing that bloody chieftain did a number on my throat. Maybe it's for the best that he's dead. <coughs> oh, dear me. Sorry. <coughs> Let's try and get this open. I don't think we'll be able to, though. Nope, it's not possible. All right, well. Now we can go further in. Or we can go back and take the prisoners out of here. I think I'm going to go further in for now. Get the prisoners on our way out. They apparently don't have the, uh, the initiative to escape themselves. With the door unlocked. Okay, here we go. This is the way down. Strong rope dangles down into the darkness below. Climb down the rope. Oh, and what does Xanos wish to say? This place it holds great power. So... There was a great magic worked here at one time, a magic whose origins I do not recognize. Uh, it is ancient indeed, though. Ancient magic? Yes, yes. I've already, I've already said that. Uh, you do not need to mind us to repeat every word I say. Get to the point, Sanos. It is not elven, not dwarven, almost human. We are near the Nether Mountains. If that, If it is that old, then perhaps... You mean... Yes, neither is. If that is true, then what we find here may uh, could have power beyond our wildest dreams, or enough power to reduce us all to dust in an instant. We should be wary here, I know, but the potential power, it is limitless. 
Well. It certainly looks interesting, I'll say that much. <coughs> Goblin's bones. Goblin note. Master mean to send us down here. He says, look for magic stuff. No find nothing. Days and days go by. Mung and Jira all gone now. Me no go go back now. Master be angry. Me starve. Less painful than Master's anger. Lever makes pretty light. Me thinks pathways. Uh, me thinks pathways with same pretty light safe. Mung and Jira no believe in me, me and now they dead. They went down the wrong path and burn, burned all up. Me right, but me no fight flying imps by myself. Uh, me eat boots now and hope for best. <laughs> Goblins. Magical pool over there. No, 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 nothing. I'm not entirely sure what that achieved, honestly. Oh, well, it's blue. It's blue light, and that's a blue corridor there, so. Uh -uh. The pool before you was covered with runes, but it is an unknown an ancient language. Carved into its rim appears to be five large symbols. The pool is calm but glowing faintly. You get the impression that this device has a specific function here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Try to decipher the runes. After spending some time studying the runes, you decide that they are Netherese in origin and have translated a little of their meaning. The runes depict some manner of silver token being placed in the pool and then the symbols used to create magical items. Examine the symbols more closely. The symbols are clearly marked. A flame, a raindrop, a stone, a whirlwind, and the last has all the symbols in one circle. Flame, raindrop, stone, whirlwind. So, fire, water, earth, wind. As the last has all the symbols in one circle, it seems to each can be pressed into the platform. Press the flame symbol. You press the symbol and it lights up briefly and then dims. Nothing else occurs. Press, press the raindrop symbol. Press the stone symbol. Press the whirlwind symbol. Press the four symbol carving. Hmm, nothing. Try to decipher the runes. Manner of silver token being placed in the pool, and then the symbols used to create magical items. Ah, I see. Try to decipher the runes. While you spend a short time studying the runes, you are not certain you can make any sense of them at all. Leave it alone. Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I can't put anything in the pool, it seems. Well. The blue path is open. Let us visit the blue path. Push to protect you from elements. I have a feeling that might be very useful. <laughs> Oh, wow. Ah, they're doing no damage. Because of our amulet. You fools, you have no power here. Stupid water methods. Please kill this thing. There we go. Oh dear. Colin appears to be afflicted with some sort of acidic thing. Someone damages Colin. Six. Acid. Hmm. I think it went blue this way, didn't it? Yeah. Let's keep following blue. Okay. Let me have 
this. Waters of Wisdom. Getting around can be quite tough. That's all it has to say. Water seems to be permeate the very air in this chamber, seeming to emanate from this fountain. Okay. going this way. This Colin keeps continuously getting acided to death. What have we here? A water elemental. Challenge rating very difficult. Ferocious and powerful as a stormy sea, water elementals are capable, incapable of venturing far from the body of water that gave them birth. Damage reduction, damage immunity, decreased fire, damage immunity, de increased cold. Unity to critical. So are they weak to fire or are they strong against fire? I'm guessing they're weak to fire? I'm not sure though. You'd think it'd be the other way around. Well, <clears throat> didn't say anything about acid, so. Have a badger! Also have another Colin. Looks like it won't be too much of an issue for us to deal with. Have some missiles. I'll put you in your place. Come on, just die. Bizarrely enough, Vera seems to be the only, one, uh, the only one actually hitting the thing. There we go. Well, that did something. Oh, it sent us back here. Oh. Means I didn't get to stick around and loot the place. Oh, well. Um, can I go back? I'm going to try going back. didn't want to be teleported all the way to the start again, if I'm honest. Probably wasn't anything in here, though, was that? Having said all that. Oh, well, there's a door. Oh, this is all fiery stuff. Let's not go this way. No, 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 no! Yeah. God, pathfinding! No! What are you doing? I'm just gonna arrow keys my way out of here. Sorry. Well, you know, you know what I mean? Not arrow keys, W, S, and D, but you get the idea. Good grief. Just wanna double check. What is this one? It's a plus one. Bonus one slashing damage. Oh, Xanos! Massive criticals, one damage. What have you done, you flipping idiot? Oh, you decided to run off down there, did you? Now, what exactly am I supposed to do about that, huh? Oh, guys, come on. No, don't kill me here by getting in my way. Not rest while there are enemies nearby. He's just disappeared. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, come on, Colin. Let's go back to the main room, and I, I suppose we'll have to use our gem, uh, our focus gems to teleport out of here. And, uh, yeah. I hope it works. There isn't some nonsense magic blocking it again, like, like in the elven tomb. Where is the ring? There it is. Mistra's hand. Okay, it worked. Thank. Mistra, actually. Specifically. 
There he is, the fool. Have you any news of the artifact? No, nothing yet. Um, healing, please. Misha is continuously stuck in a cycle of closing the door. And Xanos. If you were better at this, Xanos would not have to undergo such unpleasantness. If Xanos was capable of following simple instructions, Xanos would not, not have to go undergo such unpleasantness either. Oh, let's go. Have you any news of the artifacts? Uh, teleport. I suppose I could have stuck around and sold some things at the traders and whatnot, but bah, whatever. I got two focus crystals left that I can see there. What's there with these boots? Boots of the Sun Soul. The original version of these boots were said to be worn by the wise wanderer Teki Jin of Karatur. As he traveled and grew in strength, Teki was joined by students who would follow in his path and sneeze horribly. <coughs> oh, ah, felt that one coming. Um, but in addition to that, um, Teki was joined by students. When a student left to travel their own path, Teki would pass his old boots to a student to remind them that every path under the sun should be walked in the wisdom of the past. After his death, many copies of his boots would show up in stores, each supposedly handed down from Teki to a student. Even if these copies are nothing more than clever forgeries, they do seem to assist the wearer in avoiding enemy attacks. Only, only usable by Monk. Yes. Anyway... Right. Now, we have opened the fire path. This will not be as easy, for we do for we lack a, an, an amulet of fire resistance at this point. Oh, that is a fire method. Get back over here. Consider it done. Don't stand there and get horribly killed by the acid. Please. Should just go around here. So I can take a potion. Oh, I do not have a lot of potions left. Oh, dear. Uh, let's use a healing kit instead. There we go. And, uh, unfortunately, my familiar is dead. Colleen. Oh, no, no, get back. That's a steam path, that one. Alright, enough of this. There we go. Nice one, Vera. <laughs> you just slapped him silly with that halberd. Alright. Let's go back. I need to rest so I can get Colin back. So, ouch. I don't think we took any damage there, but nearly did. Oh, for heaven's sake. For pity's sake, let me rest. We go back up here. Climb rope. There we go. We can rest up here. It's significantly less noisy up here as well, which is, you know, nice, obviously. Vera, I'm getting very, very sick and tired of all this dying, you know. Trust me, I'm getting sick and tired of you dying as well. That goes for both of you. Yes, well, be it as it may, do I, do you really think it's a good idea to, to have me around down there? I, 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 I keep wandering into the dangerous bits, unfortunately. I'm very sorry, but, you know. Honestly, Colin, I wouldn't summon you at all if it weren't for the fact that I'm going to have to fight an elemental at the end of it, and I don't wish to do that with only him to help me. Right, I suppose that's actually quite understandable, fair enough. 